From a point 550 feet from the base of the near edge of a building, observer finds that the angle of elevation at the top is 37 degrees and angle of elevation to the top of a flagpole, 39.5. Okay, so first thing we want to do, of course, is to draw a picture because one is not given. So hopefully there's enough information here. Um, so you have a building. There's my building. And you have an observer who's 550, so let's call that 550, from the near edge of the building, which is right here. He takes a sighting up to the top of the building, which is 37.5 degrees. I'm sorry, 37 degrees. And then there's a flagpole up here. Okay, and then he's going to sight up to the top of that and that gives you a smaller angle 2.5 degrees okay and we can assume that's a right angle okay so what we need to do then is to find the height of the flagpole which I'll give that a name X alright so what we want to do is a lot of times we can fill in the blanks there's a couple ways to do this problem um, there is a larger right triangle and a smaller right triangle, right? You got this big right triangle. Goes up, has the 39.5 degree angle in it, right? Which is this angle. So if you want, you could find this angle right here, which I think might be helpful. Because that angle is part of that big, bigger right triangle, right? So I can get that angle by starting with uh, 180 minus the 90 degree angle minus this 39.5 degree angle, right? Okay, and that would, or I could just do 90 minus 39.5, right? That's equal to 50.5 degrees. So we found one angle that wasn't given. Um, how I'd like to approach this problem is I want to find this side right here. Because this side is shared between the skinny oblique triangle, which I'll need the law of sines or cosines for, and this smaller right triangle right here that has the 37.5. So I can use some basic um, trigonometry to figure that out. I can set up a cosine equation, right? So the cosine of 37 degrees is equal to this side right here, the adjacent side of 550, divided by the hypotenuse, which I'm trying to find, which is y. Okay, and that'll give me the hypotenuse of this, what I call this uh, burgundy triangle, or the smaller right triangle. Okay, and once I have that, then maybe I can go on to figuring out what the, about that skinnier oblique triangle. So to solve this, of course, I multiply both sides by y. And then divide both sides by cosine 37. Then I'd have y equals 550 over the cosine of 37 degrees. Okay, so you use your calculators for that. I'll use Google. That is uh, 550 divided by the cosine of 37.5 degrees. And it gives me a side of... Oh, 37, 37, not 37.5, 689, okay, so that means this side right here is 689 feet, okay, good, so now try to ignore the mess that I have going on here and just concentrate on this smaller sliver of a triangle, okay, and you can realize it's not a right triangle, so we need the law of sines or cosines. But we have this angle here, which is 50.5, and the side opposite. And then we have another angle, and we're looking for the side opposite that. Right? So that means I can use the law of sines. So I can set up sine of 50.5 degrees divided by the side opposite that, which is the 689. And then I have my 2.5 degree, sine of 2.5 degrees. And divide that by the side opposite, which we're calling x. Okay, so that's going to allow me to solve for the height of the flagpole. So I can cross multiply here x times the sine of 50.5 equals 689 times the sine 2.5 degrees. Okay, and then of course I would divide by the sine of 50.5 degrees. 
sine of 50.5 degrees, and that'll allow me to solve for x. So I got to plug that into my calculator. 689 times the sine of 2.5. So 689 times the sine of 2.5 degrees. And that's going to be divided by the sine of 50.5 degrees. If I type that in, it should spit out my answer, which is 38.9 feet. So x is equal to 38.9 feet, which is the height of the flagpole.